Welcome back to my YouTube channel, it's Dawn here. So today I thought we'd come on and we'd make a book cover. Um, so I have this um, mixed media um, artist pad paper journal thing. Um, I don't know what to call it, it just says mixed media pad. Um, but yeah, so I have this in my stash. I bought a set of three of them. Um, I think it showed the haul, actually I can't remember when. Um, and there's 60 sheets in here but I really want because I'm not being funny when you pick this up do you really want to look at that I don't think so so our lovely Steph from FEM and Cards has gifted me all of these beautiful and I mean a beautiful um, metal embellishments so I was thinking that we could do something with these and create an absolutely stunning book cover um so i do need to allow this to dry i think that has to be do you know what i'm thinking of very flat and very simple which isn't like me <laughs> at all um if any of you know me and mixed media me and mixed media are always really really big and really really funky um but yeah i'm very 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 tempted so i'm sort of yeah i'm very tempted to keep this quite flat so i'm liking these hinges um so yeah with mixed media what i not tend to do is i'll do quite a few pro, pro uh, programs projects oh that was hard to get in there wasn't it so i'll do quite a few projects in one go um but our lovely Steph, she gifted me all of these beautiful beautiful pieces and how could i not have a play with them oh I just yeah you just need to but i'm thinking something very simple which really is not what i thought i would go for um at all um so this is what I'm thinking. Um, I am going to allow this overnight to dry um, because it is. Um, I'm going to be sticking it all on with uh, gel medium because gel medium is what is going to give it the strength and it will prevent it from. Um, I like that. And then when it's coloured off with some work, with some words on. Um, yeah, so gel, gel medium is what's going to adhere all this together and it's going to be a permanent adhesion because we're sticking metal onto um, this book cover. You're going to find that in some cases um, the metal can in fact uh, fall off if you use like just a normal PVA glue or if you were to use, um, no I think too, um, or if you were to use um like your hot glue gun i've used my hot glue gun a couple of times and they have fallen off the only thing i've found that does not make your um, metal embellishment fall off is um yeah is gel medium so highly highly recommend that's what i think i'm gonna do and then i'm gonna get um look for a sentiment to sink out of my stash and put that on so what we're gonna do we're gonna pull this apart so we're gonna take the covers off um and I think the cover, the back cover, I'm going to use the same heart because it is flat. Um, let me just take all these out uh, because it would be shame just to leave the back cover as is. So what I'm going to do is take the front cover and the back cover off and we'll put that off to the side to keep it safe. Um, so that is all for the front cover. So for the back cover, I'm thinking because these hearts are flat, we can just literally have one there. Um, we do have some more of the corners. Please tell me we have eight because I think it would be nice to have. There's another one. Um, I want those on as well. Because I think it would be nice to have both the front and the back. Um, decorated but the back obviously we want to keep the back part of it um, as flat as possible oh excellent I need one more corner um, to add on and then yeah I'll be very happy oh there we go perfect so what I'm going to do because these are going to get painted with gesso as well so you sort of know what we're going to go with um, I think I'm going to paint them with black gesso. Um, I think that's what I'm feeling today. 
so I think I'm going to paint the um, paint my covers with the black gesso first and then I'm going to stick these bits on and what I'm going to do is I am actually going to put this bit on a speed up and then we'll colour it when we come back um, Just so you're going to get to see the process of doing it except you're not going to, to sort, I'm not going to be sat here blabbering about nothing yeah even though I know you guys don't mind but we can sit and we can blabber about nothing when we do the next part so um grab a brush so I have a brush so the first thing I want to do um so I'll start it now is we are literally just going to cover the front and the back with gesso and this is our primer so yeah then once I've covered the front and the back with a gesso I'm then going to stick my bits and pieces on and then we're going to put another coat of gesso on um so the reason why I'm putting gesso on my cover first is because the metal pieces the filigree so it means they're very intricate and I'm going to find it quite difficult to get in between all the gaps so you're going to see um, no matter how much I try you will see the cover so to s prevent us from seeing the um, the original design of the cover um, it's best just to paint our piece um, with gesso this is actually oh it's gone on lovely so smooth so smooth so yeah so what I'm going to do is um, actually no I'm just going to go off camera and do it um just so then this isn't super long so once this is all um painted up these are stuck on and painted and it's all dry we'll come back and what we'll start doing because these are just going to sit on there like that and then what we'll do is we'll start colouring it in and yeah making it look absolutely amazing so I will be back once these are all stuck on all painted black and it's all dry Okay, so I'm back. Um, this is um, them all done. So I've put the metal embellishments on. You're not really going to be able to see them much. Um, but all the metal embellishments are on the front and um, our back um, covers. Um, what I've also done is I've just painted around the edge. I still need to do paint around the edge on this. But I'm going to cover these with some uh, scrapbooking paper or something. Because uh, I think that will be nice. Um, and the colours that I've decided to go for on this one is I'm going to go with this iris paint and this strawberry milkshake. Um, they're going to look, well I'm hoping they're going to look quite nice um, and I'm also going to use some silver as well so those are the colours that I'm going to, to use so I'm going to start off with my purple so I'm just going to put some on my brush and then take a lot of it off because what we're going to do is we're just going to dry brush everything um, which will bring up all of that gorgeous gorgeous texture um, and the key with the dry brushing I mean I say it on every video but if you are new to my channel the key to dry brushing is um, the, the least amount possible on your brush is best um, because you can always build up the layers we cannot take the layers away um, so we can't take that amount of paint away unless we were to repaint it um, black and start again so um, yeah and I am working it into my brush as well um, but I just thought I'm going to do a different colours because normally when I do black gesso I tend to do the same thing over and over again and I tend to use um, all my metallics um, and I tend to use um, like either a purple or a green and I keep it all the same but where I thought you know what I'd like to do this one just a little bit different um, do they use the same sort of technique so we're still using the same colors um, but this time we're just what we're doing is we're just doing like we're sort of keeping to the same color palette and it's um yeah having it a bit more girly really so um, that's what my hope is now I'm wanting to get a nice border all the way around um, and as you can see every time I'm picking more paint up I am really really working that into my brush um, so it really is the key and I am going to add it onto the background now I'm going to add splatters to this as well in, in the different colours because I think that's going to work and look really really nice as well um, so yeah just want to 
um, and it's a matter of your layers as well with things like this so you want to do like bring in all of your layers um, and do them just little bits at a time you don't want to over um, overdo them so you just want to slowly build up that colour um, so there's my purple done. I'm not changing my brush because there's no need to. Um, and then we're just going to come in and bring in some of that gorgeous light pink. Um, and we're just... And it's really, really light. Um, very, very light um, flicks of the brush that we're using. So I'm not going in really, really heavy handed. It is very, very light. Um, and again, it really does make a difference. So, and as you can see, it's just getting brighter and brighter. That's looking fab. So it is, it's just what I will keep doing um, with both the front and the back cover is I will just continue to do my layers. So it looks as though we, um, I might at some point lose a colour that we're, we're doing, but um the thing is, is we do, we'll just keep coming in and adding it until we've got the right proportions or what I think are the right proportions. Um, I mean, that to me just looks lovely. I'm loving all of that detail. Now I just want to bring in, let me just shake it up because it, it had oil in my last one that I used. Oh, please don't tell me we are running out. There we go. So I want to add in some metallic as well. And I'm going to go with silver because I love silver, purple and pink together. I just think they work really well. Again, working that into my brush. Um, but then again, I'm thinking that maybe even um, a nice gold because it's a quite a light tone. This so it's quite similar. So I'm thinking that maybe a gold. So what I might do actually, what I'm thinking of is bringing in my mousses so I'm just going all the way around and what I want to do I'm, I want to add splashes I'm thinking adding splashes and now I'm look I mean I am loving how it's looking um, let's have a look so I do have a gold here so this one is actually Indian gold um, and it is a nouveau mousse one let me just get a little palette thing uh, just because you don't want to put your fingers in this um, yeah otherwise it can go moldy okay and then what I'm gonna do is oh yeah gold is so much better than the silver that's really really enhancing that color so I think I'm gonna use the um, the nouveau mousse to bring all of that detail out um, I do want to add some more purple on I think Def well yeah I definitely want to add some more purple on because that purple is just absolutely beautiful so and it's just going around I'm just doing all of this with my finger um, and like I said, just build up the layers and you don't have to add loads and loads of layers. You can stop at any point and that's the good thing about adding very little. Um, when you get to a point where you think, oh, I don't want to do any more, I feel like I'm going to ruin it, then that's the point when you know when to stop. So, okay, just going to go all the way around. And that just yeah that gold really really helps make that pop so I'm gonna put this layer on I'm gonna come back in with our purple because um, I, I really do think that we need a bit more of that purple on I'm not sure about the pink I don't think um, the pink seemed to be very similar I do like it though I'm not gonna lie it is nice <laughs> definitely definitely nice so yeah oh isn't that just lovely it's absolutely gorgeous and i think having those splashes on as well and the only thing that i think i'm going to add is i've got some tim holtz um metal 
banners which I think would look nice on the front um, and maybe some gems I'm not going to add all my flowers and all the usual stuff to this um, I think I'm just going to leave it as is which isn't my usual style but um, it is nice to do something different every now and again oh, I'm loving that I'm loving that gold definitely definitely the right um the right one to choose right i just want to bring in some more of this purple so like i said we sort of i will um go back over with the gold but i do want to bring some more of this purple in um because i just think this purple is gorgeous so i'm sort of adding it into the background but giving that background some texture now there's hardly anything left on my brush so I'm really pushing down on my brush just to give that get that background texture going because um, uh, yeah that purple just looks divine but I don't want it to be um, all purple like I don't want it to be like a solid block of colour of purple if that makes any sense um, so I like the distressed look of it um, so that's what I'm sort of doing and then I think oh, see I mean to me that is just looking fabulous so I'm gonna go back over some areas with the gold and definitely those hearts um, and the corners um, yeah oh, a bit too much on there but that's fine because I can just grab my cloth and we can just wipe some of that away okay so it's just where I put a bit too much on every now and again you'll with this because I'm doing it off the side you can end up with a big lump and not and not realize so but um, as you saw quite easy just to rub away especially when it's wet um, when it's dry no it's not so yeah and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the same to the back. Um, oh, I love that. I really, really love that. I think that just looks so nice. Right, I'm going to go around the edge with the gold. So it's like, um, it looks like a, a gilded edge. Like this. And again, just using my fingers because the fingers definitely work so much better. I and mean, that just looks so pretty. Um, but yeah, I think a few gems, definitely, um, will work on this. Just do that edge. Um, yeah, and a little title for the front cover. I think that's all we need. Just put a little bit more on. I'm wondering whether to add in a bit of copper or whether that's just a bit too much oh, I love that I think I think we should leave it as is um, yeah but I think um, on my next go I might have or you know with these colours I might try the copper as well so I think the copper would look lovely oh I love that I absolutely love that right what I'm gonna do is I want to create um, some splash uh, some splashes so let's grab a paint brush I want to grab a bit of this paint um, and I want to just grab my my spray of water and we're gonna mix that together okay we might, might need a little bit more and a little bit more water although I'm thinking that maybe I should have left the splatters to the last but never mind we've got a big big glass surface so we've got other places we can use oh there see oh, honestly splashes really make the difference to a project just turning it so that we've got the different directions and I love the big big splotches oh how gorgeous is that right I think that um, 
I think I want to add some gold splashes in as well. Definitely want to add some gold in. So I'm going to add some water to that. Let me just wash my brush out. Okay. And then I do have gold paint, but the Nouveau um, mousse you can actually um, use as a watercolour. Um, so while it's there, we may as well, again, may as well use it. Yeah. Oh, that is so good. I'm loving it. Oh, we've got splashes on the back piece. That is fine. That is fine. Because there will be when we're finished. Right, okay. So that is our front cover. Um, nearly done. So let's pop that off to the side to dry. So I'm just going to pop pop that there and then what we're going to do is the same thing with this I'm just going to use a different part of my mat um, and we're just going to do our our purple all the way around so um, I'm just, just basically repeating what we've done on the front um, with the back so slowly building those layers up and um, it can be quite tempting just to and um, once you've done the front cover and you've seen your front cover and yet oh, it, it's really exciting it can you can be quite tempted to um, like rush the back cover um, I wouldn't try and do it so that you treat it like the front you'll find that it'll go quicker because there's less on it and there's less detail that you want to, to pull out um, I mean, I'm still adding small amounts, um, but because I know I want the background covered, I am making sure that um, I am pushing my brush in when there's, I mean, there's literally nothing left on that. <laughs> um, but if you push your brush down, we can get a little bit more. But be very careful. It needs to be when you've literally got nothing left on your brush and you're really struggling to get anything out of it, that um, you can push it down. Otherwise, um, you know do really light smooth motions um, I want a bit of the pink because we did have some of the pink on the front um, so we're just going to keep on, on going and the pink is actually what made it nice and bright oh, I just love how it brings out all of that detail within our piece I really do. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I mean, I know that we're going to be coming in with our gold and covering most of that up, but you know, we're going to be getting into bits. You're still going to see little bits of it. So it's, it is, it really is about your layers, about building up um, the layers of your piece and yeah, adding all those different colors. I mean, I love the fact that you can see all the strokes of the black gesso. I just think it's fab. I'm come in with the purple again so I want to do what I did on the front so I, I went around the whole edge with the purple um, so where the gold is um, some of that purple is slightly showing so and it does make a difference um, I mean, we're going to be coming in with the purple again after the gold. And, you, um, and again, this is, you know, this is part of your layers. It's part of, yes, you're covering bits up, but, by, but you're always going to see a part of that layer, some, um, you know, some bit of that layer, you're always going to see it. Um, and that's the, that's the beauty of it. So just going, making sure I go around the whole edge. And as you can see, I've used a very, very little paint on this. Um, what, three dabs into, um, into our piece? Which is nothing really, is it? I'm liking how they're different tones. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do now is let's grab some more of our mousse. Um, so I'm just going to put that on the side again I'm not putting my fingers in because it can't go mouldy um, I know Julia found that out one of hers went mouldy um, so I want to get actually the gilding wax which I will get eventually um, because the gilding wax the, the Peveo gild it's furniture grade um, and you can put your finger in it no problem at all um, 
Right, I've just got a big bit of this. Let me grab my rag. So, and let's, there we go. And just, and also with the um, a Pebio one, you can actually polish it up as well, which I like the idea of. Um, don't get me wrong, I love my Nouveau Mousses. Um, I did have the Inca Golds. Um, I think I've still got, well, I've, I haven't have got my gold anymore. Um, but I've got my silver and my copper. Um, and when I get them out, because it's rare that I use them, um, yeah, you can guarantee I have to scrape off some mold some, from somewhere. Especially with the silver, no, with the copper. Because that's, um, that's had water in it to revive it. Because it dried out quite quickly. Um, so because I put, I should have used distilled water, but I didn't. I just used um, water out of my spray tool. So, um, some to, but um, there wasn't as much mold on as what Julia had found. So um, I was able just to scrape it off. Um, yeah right because i know i'm going to do the edges i'm just going to go around and start the first layer of building up those edges um and then i want to come in again like what we did with the purple um on our front cover i mean it looks so much better than it does on camera i'm looking up at the camera screen and oh, i have to you need to see it in life it does look it looks amazing it really really does Oh, do you know what would look nice on the back? One of my, a little seal. Oh, I think that'd look nice. A little dragon or something. Just thinking, I, um, I did have some wax seals somewhere, but I'm not quite sure where I put them. Tidied up yesterday. They've been in front of me for ages. Um, and I tidied up yesterday, and I just don't know where I put them. So, but I can make another one. So this is planned to give to someone. I'm just hoping they like what I've created for them. I didn't want it to be too bulky because um, I know not everybody likes a big, chunky um, notebook. So I'm hoping, um, but I'm not quite sure whether this person does like a chunky notebook or not. So I thought let's keep it, try and keep it as flat um, as possible. So yeah. Um, so by the time this goes up hopefully she'll have received it and I'll know oh, I do I love it, I love 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 it I do love that gold I think that gold really really brings this out <laughs> Quincy's uh, trying to get comfortable in his bed right um, where is oh I put my brush in my water have I put my brush in yeah no that I had then. I've got the same brush in my water. I'm thinking, why have you put your brush in your water? It's a, that's the worst thing that you can do. Right, okay, so again, coming in with my purple um, to add some more purple in. Um, just because I think it will look nice. I think I got a bit too much out there. See, I don't mind that we have like big sections that are purple either. That actually looks really nice. I'm using my finger as well to do it. Oh, oh. excuse me, you two. Do you mind? <laughs> so, Quincy's trying to get comfortable. A lady's in her bed. Quincy's stepping on her and a lady is growling at her. But you know what? Lady is the worst for stepping on anyone. So, she's got no one to um, be angry at because she steps on Quincy all the time. She is so mean. She's got a very bad temper sometimes, that little girl. Especially if she doesn't want to do something. If you <laughs> if you said it's really funny on a night because um when it's time when my husband goes to bed because I got I normally um always go to bed before my husband, so he'll um pick her up off the bed to take her out and oh you should hear her grunt she does not want to be out of bed she wants to stay there, so it's it's quite <laughs> it's quite funny. 
Right, okay, I think we're just about done with this. I'm just bringing out some more of that detail and you can see in the metal pieces, you can see those layers um, quite nicely, which is what we are looking for. Right, just need to go over this edge because it did add a bit more of the um, purple on because it was lacking a little. Um, I don't want to get any more out, but I might have to. Right, actually no, I think we're I think we're good. Right. Yep. Okay. Oh, I love that. So that's the back piece done. Um let me just grab my brush and then I just want to add in some um more splatters like we did with the front. So making sure this is well mixed. Got plenty of pigment on there. So coming in with the purple first. It just all adds in to the background. Oh, I love that big one. I love, love big splatters. Right, so there's the purple. And then I want to come in with the gold. So um, I think we'll have to add a little touch of water. all that up we don't want to waste and hopefully I think it should be pigmented enough yes absolutely gorgeous so yeah splatters is a really good thing to add to your projects right okay just painting that heart a bit more. Oh, love it. Right. Okay, so that is that. So let's grab these and let's pop the lids on. Don't know whether to add some pink. Shall we add some pink splatters? Um let's have a look. I I'm thinking that we I, I want to. So let's make up, just because it's they're a lot bright, the pink is a lot brighter. So I just need a little bit more. I'm thinking that it'll add a little extra summit to it. I hope so anyway. Um, but we have used a little bit of this pink on to brighten it up. So it seems daft not to. So let's have a look. Yeah, actually that works really nicely. So I'm not going to put as many on as the purple, but I do believe that has done what I need it to do. So I don't want like big massive ones like we have with the purple and the gold, but oh, I love that. I mean, it's really not showing up very well on camera. It really isn't. And it's sort of a bit guttering because <clears throat> it looks amazing in real life. Okay, so again, just pop in some little splatters on there we go don't want too much oh, absolutely gorgeous like i said it really isn't showing up as nicely on camera as it does in real life but that's normally the case isn't it which is a bit annoying right what i want to do is actually before we do that where's my journals so I have a couple of gorgeous journals and um, I'm going to use this one. So this is a journal I got off our lovely Dawn um, and I've already used it at, for one mop-up page. So just there but I'm thinking that um, that colour, oh definitely, would look gorgeous on there as well. So just picking it up. And then I think we're ready to finish those pages. So oh, look at them. Don't they look fab? I mean, then, well, I think they look fab. So there's that. Let's grab another journal. Um, which one? I'm going to grab this one, I think. Um, so this one's got lots of different ones in. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab a paintbrush. And we're just going to paint on 
all of the paint. So I've got a silver as well. And it is literally just a mop-up page. So we're using all of that gorgeous goodness. Um, and what's really nice is even though it's watered down, it's still giving us a lovely, lovely... There we go. So, and then we can come on and what I'll have to do is I'll have to show you the process of me doing... Um, decorating these and look this this one I love this journal I love how it feels and everything this one's actually um, getting to the point where it's about nearly um, finished I just absolutely think it's fab and love it and love everything in it so right because um, I don't do every page in my journals because it just ends up too bulky um, so yeah I tend to only do maybe half of the pages till till it gets to the point where I don't like the the bulkiness of it anymore. So yeah, right. So I'm just gonna wipe these off. So I know I'm using wipes, which is really really bad of me. Um, but these are biodegradable ones, so they are a lot friendlier to the planet. So they do break down. Um, unlike um others so yeah I'm very conscious about which ones I get right okay so now that we've dried that um I've just thought I should just turn the camera off because I need to get out the bits and pieces um what I think I'll do let's grab our book back oh no we need to choose actually um a paper to go on the inside so i'm going to have a look through my 12 by 12s and see what paper i've got that will go really nice on the inside of this i'm going to go through my embellishments i'm also going to have a look at some gems and some other bits that i think would look nice and yeah and then um, i'll come back and we'll finish it off completely so i'll be back in a second okay so i'm back right um i've got this amethyst purple 12 by 12 um weave texture uh, cards uh, yeah card stock from tonic studio so i think that on the inside so just keeping the inside very plain i think that's going to work quite nicely um i also have this lilac ribbon that i think looks really nice i want that to ha be as the closure i think and then this is why i thought just this little section here so i've got a little flower um a little gem and then it says capture life's moments and then a little key on top and i think that's it i don't think there's anything else that i'm going to put on it um i think i'm going to keep it as it is but what i really want to do is add in the um the ribbon underneath this piece um because i think that'll be really really nice so and again it's just a little something um and how we're going to have it so that it, it sort of goes i don't know how the clasp is going to work i don't know because i've never done a clasp on a um on one of these journals before but i just really like the idea of it so what i'm thinking is having that like that um now do i have it in the middle i think so let's do it quite so what i'm going to do is i'm going to stick that there using some gel medium uh so there's my gel um i'm actually tempted to do it um because i don't mind it going over that butterfly because this is going to have to go it's, um right so that's going to go there that can go there so actually yeah let's have that under there oh actually that's just come off perfect which means that i can use the gel medium to fix it so that's actually uh very fortunate isn't it <laughs> Right, okay, let me grab a, um, a stick. Oh, that's off. Yeah, don't know. Right, I don't need that much. Um, so what I'm going to do is we're just going to pop on a layer of the gel medium just on here, like so. And then I'm just going to pop on a layer just going across there because this is just to stick. Because we need to be able to stick this ribbon down. 
Okay, so there's our ribbon all nicely adhered down. Now I will leave this um, for 24 hours. Oh, do you know what? That is definitely really good that it's come off because it's allowing me to um, deal with all the other bits that I want on. So that's going to sit just on there like so. Now I know we can see gel medium but that's fine. This is, I've done this on purpose. So that's going to sit in there like that. And then we're going to pop that on there. Oh, perfect. Absolutely perfect. So let's grab a nice big chunk of that um, and it'll have been, this will have come off because I, I've either not left it long enough to do or um, I've been quite forceful or I haven't put enough gel medium on. So um, it's very rare that I have a piece come off but I'm so, so glad that we have. Um, honestly, I don't think you realise how glad I am because we've managed to now able to pop on the um, the ribbon without any issues so it worked out in my favour this time um, but I'm glad actually it did come off um, while I'm still working on it because there's nothing worse than um, yeah working on something um, and sending it to um, the person and it falling apart on them so um, so it was definitely a good thing Right, okay, I'm loving that, absolutely loving that. So what I'm going to do, because we're not adding anything else, at all, just this little key. Um, I just like, I like the idea of the key, um, because we've got, it says, um, capture life's moments. So I just like the idea of having the key just resting on it. Um, so yeah, try that off. And then I'm just going to get rid of, my gel medium does dry clear so I know that those bits that I've um, adhered down will be fine. Now um, I'm going to pop this off to the side for a moment and then what I'm going to do is for this one um, I've got my paper and um, all I'm going to do is I'm just going to grab my glue so I'm just using my art glit glue for this um, if there's any left. I know I'm right at the bottom of oh there we go of it so I'm hoping there's enough in um, so we're just gonna go now when I do my book covers what I tend to do is I make sure I go through all these little bits here um, because once you put the holes in um, it might lift up so I always do that a little bit and then yeah just I don't know if it's an OCD thing or what, but um, I just have to do it. So then I'm going to stick oh, this on here. And the good thing about the paper is it's not directional. So um, it can be stuck on. I should be able to get both. I've got to be careful because there's a big blob there that's still wet of the blobs. And I don't want to get rid of it because I really, really like it. Um, okay, so I'm going to just cut that down like so okay right um should be okay right so i'm going to leave that i'm going to have to bla i think i'll blast it with my heat tool um to dry it actually i think i'm going to have to get out another piece yeah because that's not going to fit so what I'm going to do because this is now going to go in my scrap box um, is I'm actually going to cut this down um, so that I can pop it in my, my scrap box so that I can use it so let's get another sheet out so I got all of these um, when Tonic Studio had a sale on their cards their playing card stock um, because it's one thing I don't have a lot of. I have loads and loads and loads of um, the cardstock in, um, like coloured cardstock in A4. But um, surprisingly, I don't have a lot in um, 12 by 12. So when Tonic Studio had their sale on, um, I I stocked up on quite a few. Right, and just oh, my arms, it's going very well. My hand. Um, it's not 
doing as I want it to do. So it's shaking and do it, going all over the place. But I've noticed that the last few days. My hands shake a lot. Okay. Oh, this is just going to look absolutely gorgeous. I really, really hope the person who's receiving this likes it. Um, I really, really do hope so. You always worry, don't you? Because um, oh, I really, honestly, I don't think, um, I've put this on the wrong way, um, I don't think it ever shows up on the camera how beautiful something actually looks. Right, what I'm going to do is, because I've just realised, we need to stick this bit. So I'm glad I've realised now. Right, I need some gel medium on the metal piece as well um, because of the fact that otherwise that can just pull everything up. So if everything's glued down together, I'm just going to, there we go, and bring that down. Perfect. Right, now I'm happy. Now I'm happy. Oh, no, don't glue under there. Silly thing. Right, now I'm just going to cut around. Being careful not to cut that ribbon. Um, so one side is going to have the weave texture and the other side is going to be um, quite smooth. So yeah, there you go. Right, oh, I love that. Okay, so what I need to do now is I'm going to come in with my um, whole tool and I'm just going to go right the way along and re-punch all the holes through um, so that we can put our book together and then we can pop our book together this actually book I have to say is so much better I normally buy so um, I get the sketchbooks from um, the works when I do my book covers um, and their holes I have to go through um, the um, oh, it's a grey board as well when I'm doing it, and um, especially the back piece. So it's like it's really hard on your hands. Whereas this, actually, the this um, circle punch fits fits through these holes perfectly. So I'm so happy about that. So I'm not having to put um, go right the way through um, the chipboard either, because this is well the grey board. Sorry, this is like super super thick. I think it's about two mil thick. So, yeah, can you imagine my hands trying to get through that? So, nearly done. Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to have to get the heat tool on this. Come on, out you come. But I love doing my book covers. I'm actually going to start doing more um, book covers, but I, I want to start doing more of my polymer clay. I miss doing clay. Clay is definitely one of those. I um, oh, just absolutely love doing it, and I haven't done it in over a year. Um, so I was going to do some more clay books, I think. Right, let's quickly dry this. So it's just this one little bit there. That should be enough for us to put it together. So grabbing back at my papers. So the, uh, this is, was the Arteza book. Um, right, they need to go. I'm just working out how they need to go. So they need to go to like um, the fronts facing together. Um, but it means that whoever, um, the person who receives this can use this for whatever they want. So if they want to do mixed media in it, they can. Um, if they want to draw in it, they can. If they just want to write in it, they can. So there's, yeah, a multitude of things that they can do for it. So, like I say, this is the first time I've put ribbon on. Really hoping it's worked, otherwise... Uh, that's not going to be good. So just push these closed. Okay, all the way around. Da da. Like so. Oh, put that on the wrong way, guys. It's meant to be back to front. So now I'm going to have to open this up. That's because I'm talking. So I wasn't paying any attention, obviously. 
So let's try that again. Oh, silly. Absolutely silly. Right, so turn it around that way. And then it'll be left for a few days before I post this out. Um, because obviously I want everything to be super, super dry. Oh, right, the ribbon is getting in my way. Can you please move ribbon? Thank you. Okay. Come on, in you go. Oh, I hate it when it won't go in. I think I haven't pulled it out far enough. There we go. Right, now let's close that back up and let's start again. Well, not start again, but let's finish. <laughs> okay, so, oh, come on, come on. There we go. Oh, that is gorgeous oh i do i love it and you know what that works perfectly as a closure for it as well so i just need to cut that down there we go oh i do i love it i love it so i like i say i'm a bit annoyed because it's not showing up at how beautiful that it is in um in actual person i mean that oh it's just yeah like i say i really really hope that the person who i've gifted this to is going to love it um i hope you've enjoyed it as well so definitely not my usual colors but i do think it has turned out beautifully um thank you steph so much for the metal embellishments they're just absolutely beautiful and they've made such a wonderful book cover so um i'm going to leave it there guys thank you so much for watching i do hope you've enjoyed it let me know in the comment section below also let me know if it, um my polymer clear books is something that you would like to see um, me record um, so yeah if you'd like to see the whole process of it because I'd be quite happy to record um, making them for you guys if um, it's something you're interested in um, but that's it for today guys thank you so much for watching until next time please do stay safe and happy crafting bye